the Chinese symbol for the dragon, the naga, the menorah, all symbolism for the squatter man. Wait till you hear this. Chinese dragons are strongly associated with water and weather, and they are believed to be the rulers of moving bodies of water, such as waterfalls, rivers, or even seas, or high energy auroras perceived in the heavens above. The dragon god is the dispenser of rain, as well as the zoomorphic representation of the yang, masculine power of generation. In this capacity, as the rulers of water, weather, and extreme displays in the sky, the dragon is more anthropomorphic in form, often depicted as a humanoid, dressed in a king's costume, but with a dragon head wearing a king's headdress, as the auroral dragon manifests to the Taurus field. There are four major dragon kings representing each of the four seas, the East Sea corresponding to the East China Sea, the South Sea corresponding to the South China Sea, and the West Sea sometimes seen as the Qing High Lake and beyond and the North Sea, sometimes seen as Lake Baikal. Because of this association, they are seen as in charge of water-related weather phenomena. In pre-modern times, many Chinese villages, especially those close to rivers and seas, had temples dedicated to their local dragon king. And in times of drought or flooding, it was customary for the local gentry and government officials to lead the community in offering sacrifices and conducting other religious rites to appease the dragon, either to ask for rain or a cessation thereof. One of the two base reliefs in the Ark depicting the triumphal procession held in Rome in the year 71 shows Roman soldiers carrying the spoils of war through the city, including the famous menorah and other treasures of the destroyed temple. These were put on display in Rome in the Temple of Peace, not far from the Ark, and have been completely lost to history. It has been said that the menorah has a mission to be a light unto the nations. Isaiah 42, 6. The sages emphasise that light is not a violent force. Israel is to accomplish its mission by setting an example, not by using force. And this idea is highlighted in the vision of the prophet Zechariah, who sees a menorah and explains, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, Zechariah 4, 1, 6. The menorah has always been God's idea. It appears in Exodus chapter 25, as God instructs them how to make it. He says, you are to make a menorah of pure gold. It is to be made of hammered work. Its base, shaft, cups, ring of outer leaves and petals are to be of one piece with it. It is to have six branches extending from its sides, three branches of the menorah on one side of it, and three on the other. On one branch are to be three cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with a ring of outer leaves and petals. Likewise on the opposite branch, three cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with a ring of outer leaves and petals, and similarly for all six branches extending from the menorah, Make seven lamps for the menorah and mount them so as to have light to the space in front of it. And in the book of Hebrews, they remind us in chapter 8 that all items God told Moses to make to serve as a copy and shadow of the heavenly things. For when Moses was about to erect the tent, he was instructed by God, saying, See that you make everything according to the pattern that was shown to you on the mountain. So the menorah is a copy of the shadow of the heavenly things based on the pattern that was witnessed at Mount Sinai. It's the squatter man. In Zechariah 4.6, when the prophet asks about the menorah, it's a symbol of bringing God's glory, truth and light into the world, and his people are called to his representatives in bringing that light too. Jesus teaches in Matthew 5 that we are too called to be that light to the world. You are the light of the world. 
A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. The light is a witness to and of God. In John 8, Jesus speaks in the temple and declares, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. The other aspect of the seven branches design is that it resembles a tree. In Jewish tradition, the menorah is reminiscent of the tree of life from the creation story. Adam and Eve were once perceived in this happening before dissipating in the manifestation. And the menorah speaks of eternal life with God for his bride, made available to us all. Only through the blood of the Messiah, Jesus said, I am the true vine, you are the branches. In John 15, he is the tree and only in him can we live a spiritually and fruitful life. The Nagas are described as the powerful, splendid, wonderful and proud semi-divine race that can assume their physical form either as human, partial human serpent or the whole serpent. And their domain is the enchanted underground the underworld realm, filled with gems, gold and other earthly treasures called Naga Loka or Patala Loka. And they too are often associated with bodies of water, including rivers, lakes, seas and wells and are guardians of treasure. Their power and venom made them potentially dangerous to humans, however, in Hindu mythology they often took the role of beneficial protagonists. In Samudra Manthan folklore, Vasuki, a Nagaraja who abides on Shiva's neck, became the churning rope for churning of the ocean of milk. The Naga, like the dragon, is perceived from the event. Shiva is closely associated with the Naga, and of course, the earthlings remember the destructive dance of Shiva. This goes through some very discrete phases, and each phase triggers a reaction on the earth, a perception of the earthlings who are overwhelmed by the great happening in the sky. The menorah closely resembles the dragon and the naga detail because the earthlings witness the same thing. Perceptions change, but the detail of the event is characteristic across these vast distances. The dragon becomes a symbol of imperial authority. The menorah becomes the most symbolic symbol of the Jewish people since antiquity. It literally means to shine and was created from the pattern witnessed from the shadow of God on Mount Sinai. Details of the Naga are directly related to these symbols. They saw it in the sky, depending on location, how that culture at that part of the world interpreted what they saw. These are phases of high energy levels observed in the high energy Aurora Plasmatic Squatterman. The remaining toroids have warped and produced well defined vortex curls at the edges. What's left is a solitary torus and the remnants of two others giving a bowl shape at the top and a bell shape below. This is all related to the Squatterman event. This is the Squatterman Project. <laughs>